So the question was, can you rely upon word of mouth referrals um, and referrals from past patients to grow a business in a town where very few people use the internet? The answer, you can survive in business, you can survive in business with word of mouth referrals and you can survive um, with referrals from past patients. But the problem is this, you can't grow and scale a business on your terms if all you ever do is rely upon referrals from past patients because there just isn't enough of them. It's too difficult to turn um, people into salesmen. It's not a good thing to be relying upon anywhere where people are giving information out that may not represent exactly what you are, what you do, and what you want them to think. So I'm not a big fan of, of the whole word of mouth referrals. As much as like it gets piddled and a lot of people talk about it in the business world, and you often come across business owners who do um, love to tell you that they don't like to do marketing or they don't need to do marketing because they have great referrals from past patients. And you know what I always say? Just imagine if you stuck some marketing at the front end of your business. You'd have rocket fuel going on in your business because if you have great referrals or great word of mouth referrals from past patients, it obviously tells you that you're very good at the deliverable, okay? And that people do want to talk about you. So just imagine if we stuck some Facebook advertising, some Google advertising, some postcard advertising, some newspaper advertising into that business. Just imagine how fast the word of mouth referrals would actually go on if they're getting more people coming through the front door through direct response marketing. That's a big, it's a big thing, okay? To grow and scale any business, you need deal flow. And deal flow comes at a point where you can pay for advertising, where you can pay for people to come through the door. And then if you do have great word of mouth and if you do have great referral system set up in your business, you're gonna get those referrals happening a hell of a lot faster. Now, some people will say, well, I don't really wanna grow my business past where it is now. And then I usually say, well, what are you talking to me for? Because the very fact that you're looking for marketing advice or you're on my type of website or you're speaking to somebody like me suggests that you've got a problem in your business, okay? So even if you have a full house right now in your business and it exists solely on word of mouth referrals, that's fine. But don't, don't underestimate the impact of having people banging on your door. Because if you have people banging on your door who want to do business with you, you can charge higher prices, okay? You can get rid of people who give you hassle. You can walk away from insurance companies who don't pay bills on time. You can generally just in San Diego right now. You can just generally grow and scale that business on your terms if you have people knocking on the door. But if you don't, if you don't and you're constantly waiting for the phone to ring because you're waiting for a past patient to say how good you are, it becomes very difficult to run the business on your terms. Now, I'm personally not in business to run that business on somebody else's terms. It's to be run on my terms for the good of my patients. And I genuinely believe I have an amazing service, I have an amazing deliverable. We give our clients such a great experience. Why would I not want more people to experience that faster? So to wrap it up, I think, can you rely upon referrals from past patients? Yes, you'll do okay. Growth will be slow and you will have to accept that you may not get the patients that you want um, because they don't really understand exactly what you do because past patients don't always do a great job of explaining what you do. They may do a good job of explaining what you did for them and why they were happy with that, but that doesn't always necessarily mean that that will make that person they're talking to happy. Does that make sense? So if you've got a great deliverable and you've got a great word of mouth thing going on right now, absolutely stick some marketing at the front end and you will have rocket fuel going on in your business. You will have a business that you can grow, a business that you can scale, and a business that ultimately you can walk away from if you wanted to. I don't know many businesses that um, have got to where, you know, to a success point where the owner's making the right money at the right price at the right time and energy that he has to put into the business purely relying on word of mouth referrals. I know there will be a business owner who watching this who doesn't like it, who will also be saying that he grew a business on word of mouth referrals. I'd wager that that business owner probably took 10, 15, 20 years to get to the point where he is now. And I don't know about you, but I've not got 10, 15, 20 years to wait to get the fruits of my labor for my business. So get some marketing on your front end, get those word of mouth referrals happening anyway. And the last question of, in the internet, um, you know, not, not many people are in, in, in town with the internet. I, you know, I'm sure there will be towns where internet is scarce. I would actually say that if you're in a town without the internet, move. I, I really would say that and I have zero hesitation in saying that if I was in a town with no internet, I would move because you're missing out on such a huge opportunity. If you have great skills, you have great service and you have great deliverable, which you obviously have if you're getting word of mouth referrals then you're underselling and you're in the wrong, you know, you're underselling and, and, and limiting yourself and the success that you have and the financial rewards that you're gonna get. So um, consider moving to a town that does have the internet where people can find you online, you can make the most of the advancements in Facebook and Google and things like that. So I hope that was answer your questions. Move if you've got no access to the internet and you know, use marketing to um, grow your business 
much faster than you ever will waiting for patients to say how good you are. Thanks for watching this video. And if you found it helpful, and if you now find yourself thinking, I wonder what else this person can help me with, head over to paulgoff.com forward slash books where you can find my best selling books, which will show you how to add more profit to your practice. Or send an email to paul at paulgoff.com to ask about how we can help you accelerate the growth and profitability of your clinic. And by the way, if you know anybody who would find this helpful, please share this video out. Thanks so much.